Hello everybody and welcome back to SD Gundam G Generation Overworld and the Sea of Lorelei? I almost want to say L'Oreal because you're worth it. Almost, not quite. Yeah, Lorelai. Oh, hi there. So yeah, turn after War X is one of those series I should have watched, but I don't know why watching Gundam and playing Gundam is two different things to me. What is she a siren? God. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. But considering they use the word new type, Outdoor X does take place in the Universal Century timeline somewhere. Oh, I know you. I use that shit. I use that machine. I used to. You know, what do I mean character's plot armor? You can't sink me. Why'd you turn green? Okay, I am now interested in what the hell... Uh, what? Who? Did you just absorb a ghost? Cause that was... What? Okay, I'll admit, I'm, I am curious now. So new types just continue to advance to such a scary state. So not new types just stayed not new types, new types just kept going. To the point that other new types can take them over. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I hate those things. So what's Gary doing at this time? Just sitting down and sitting on his ass right now? But no, I distinctly remember these things from uh, a certain game. 
And the Versus series. These things are hell. Because it's like they have... Okay, they don't have it, luckily, but they freaking have mini, uh... Mini cannons. Mini satellite cannons. And they're not fun when they're, when they're sort of spamming you. Everywhere. Wait, what? The challenge version is the GX bit, but the break trigger is Jamil. I'm not crazy, it's the same guy. Oba. But if we complete the challenge mission, won't it just end? I can't control the G-Bit. What happened? So these are just no new abilities right now, so we'll just get, oh, get through this quickly. Yeah, no, I am scared and confused and scared. But honestly, though, how do I do this? Yeah, this is a tricky thing now. How do you go about doing the challenge mission? Because the challenge mission causes the extra fist to appear. I've never actually fought in water before like this. This is definitely interesting. Gotta try to get the ones that can fly to fly, because I don't think that any of them are any of them are any good in actual water. But we'll see. We'll try our best. I want to smack you. However, we're gonna go up top so we get so we get out of everyone's way. Because we're too strong. Sorry, not too strong. We're too big. Oh, this thing is an eye field as well. Yeah, I don't really check my unit abilities. I should. I don't. So besides, uh... Alright, you got the Titans that was new, that's right, and... The Girl's Zulu was new. Right, you're the new one. You do look like a prototype for the Gabari Tetra. Not really a prototype, you are the Gabari Tetra. Just more gunmen than must be on.
Yeah, the outer armor was pretty much the outer armor and was pretty much just replaced with uh, two of those Zeon stuff to make it look uh, make it look like it belonged to Zeon, so no one knew the so no one could tell. Because they, because that was part of the agreement, because the help with uh, seeming agreement with the Federation. Yeah, they just gave her a uh, GP Zero unit, which is terrifying. Like, who just gives away a GP Zero unit? I'm curious who made the GP04. I, I don't really look into these two, too many of these things with these units. Don't entirely know, but because we know uh, the we know that one girl who uh, who, who who who's in a relationship with Ko and uh, and beforehand uh, Gato made the GP01 and two. GP03 was made by somebody else by by uh, that girlfriend. For the GP04, I am not entirely sure. Oh shit. Well, that's a very famous voice. He plays Zoro in One Piece. He plays, uh... Uh, what was his name, uh... Date in the Shinjoku Barasa series. He also plays Hijigata in, uh, Gintama. I want to see this uh, divider beam. Yeah, the divider beam was also another nuisance of the Versus series, because that thing was a pain to dodge. Okay, so they're following me directly. I'm following the guy in the lead. That makes sense. Oh, that's sad. Oh, he hit me with a missile. So, therefore, it wasn't beam. Okay. Is the Titans any different than the AU? Well, to beam rifles, so probably not. Uh, oh, that's it. No one's gonna come help. Shame. <laughs> the first shot of the hand grenade. Uh, this should end you. Right, we have a new dragon, but since, it's, since the new dragon has pretty much has all the old dragon's uh, weapons, that's sad. Probably be no different.
Let's have a look at the Gabaldi. That thing looks so weird. The one thing, the one thing that will make, that will make Spirit of Zeon very scary is when we start doing, uh, is when we start getting a bunch of Zeon mobile armors. That's that thing will truly become terrifying. But to use a mobile armor, you have to be a master. So I don't mind. We just need him to get a few more master skills. Probably some better ones. And yeah, we can choose him as the other master instead of, uh, for frontal. Because we'll definitely give him the Zeon mobile armor to use. And... Oh, you can't fly? Okay. No, no difference. Funny thing is, there's a game called, uh, in, in, Dynasty, in Dynasty Warriors games, this is the early ones, the only difference between the AU and the Titans version was the combos. And then, not even, not even greatly, the same thing with the, uh, Pro 1 Pro 2. The square square triangle and square 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 triangle were reversed on both of them. Pretty much, if you, pretty much combo one and combo two of the combos were just reversed. And they happened in different orders. So it honestly didn't make any difference. This is a very weird thing. Congratulations, Angelo! Our fire from that far away. Good. Well, that was an cool. I don't care about you. I am sure I need to replace you, somebody. You already got your level, so it's no point. Let's take the other guys in the water, can't even fly. If you're stuck in the water, you're gonna be quite sad. No, you're all just kinda stuck there. Well, the Gundam Mach 2 can get a little bit of luck out of this. Oops. Didn't notice the rain. Oh well. the justice level. The nose beam gun, oh fine. I don't feel like that'd be a good idea. If I were to just use all three of them and all three of them hit, I'd take a lot of damage. Ow. Oh. I would to play differently. We have to avoid all that, most of that damage. Good. 
as with the Master Unit, I can pretty much combo them together. GP04, GP03's uh, mobile armor form was in this. Huh. A booster, oh, I know what this is. I keep, for I keep forgetting what that is. I know what it's shit for. I know it transforms into a little airplane thing. I keep forgetting that. I don't know why. Vulcan, the best, the most useful attack ever. Wow, they're all just gaining up on the poor, on poor Bernie. Really? You completely ignore him, huh? War is pointless by itself, but one of the great things about games is war is used to accomplish things. That's the great thing about video games. Astron? I thought it was Gundam Astaroth, not Astron. Astron. Huh. I can't help but feel disappointed by that. I don't know why. No, if you guys kill him, I'd be sad. I know. We will have done even more. It's funny. I need to try to get those G-bits to attack. Ow. Hmm. Oh, Johnny's almost gonna get level. Johnny. Oh, uh, no, we don't need to see that. We rifle. You missed. Good job, Johnny. Oh! I can't use funnels underwater. And you can't fly. Now that's a something. Interesting. 
can't use funnels. Well, technically, you can't use funnels on Earth at all, but in this game... Yeah, that's weird. In this game, this game allows you to use funnels on Earth, but not in the water. Ah, oh, they are. They're very tricky on that, aren't they? Fall back a bit. We don't need it. You can have it, and you can have it. Alright, I'm forgetting I can move the, the other ship, aren't I? Yeah, I can move the ship. Oh, no, I can't. That's not good. I have this odd feeling I'm just gonna be ambushed in a few minutes from behind. The beginning's just gonna be a jerk like that. Let's kind of make it a more defensive position around here. Okay, so I complete the challenge mission. Now what happened? Okay. So the challenge mission will also work with the uh, that mission. Okay. Because in some games, when, there's enough, when two missions collide, they don't work together. Oh. So what faction joins, what faction's enemies and what faction's allies? Eh? Uh, oh no, we are con oh, we are continuing on the same track. What? Oh. You guys were my allies last mission. Why'd you suddenly turn on me? Oh wait, it wouldn't matter. You turn on me anyway. Master defeats one of the thrones while at full HP. Huh. Oh. We're getting, some, we're getting some more in the pocket now. Ooh, I hear some high gonk. Good deal. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> right. I feel. That's adorable. 
Now this is gonna be interesting. I don't understand what you're what are you what you're trying to accomplish here. I'm confused. I'll just walk up to shoot something you can't hurt and you're gonna die for it. Oh, dodge that please. I have three, four. I can only use this once more. I've already seen most of your moves because I've been to myself, and a beam gun's nothing special. Oh, now I know I can kill you. With a master unit. The problem is that full health thing. Oh, it's those weird, not weird, they're not even missiles, or I don't know what they are. Truth be told, since, since I don't have a master killing you, even if I kill you, nothing would proc, so it doesn't matter. That's one good thing about the missions in this game, they're a lot nicer than Genesis at times. Genesis are so freaking picky. Weren't you underwater? Well, you're dead. Not by him, though. Oh. All because I missed. I'm kind of very confused. Why do you keep attacking the thing that has the eye field? Okay, that. Okay, the high dog missiles make more sense. I just happen to dodge. Okay, I just wanted to see that little opening thing. I knew how it worked because I've seen the show before. I've seen the. I've seen one in the pocket before. I just kind of wanted to see. Uh, the whole missile thing, anyway. That's really cool. Those missiles are good for taking out ships and other large targets. I'm sorry. Oh! By the way, I decided to try to give Captain Godoku affection. How about that? Anyway, more importantly, twenty percent, huh? I thought it was fifteen thousand. Not enough. You guys up close so that way when things go bad I can just wipe you out. Well the answer is kinda obvious I have to do. of you, and then we'll get rid of the other one. We'll have uh, Haman fly into the ship to heal and fly back fly out. And we'll kill the third throne. Oh, 
Peace out now. I like you them, they experience. Don't care about you, I need to replace you. I just kind of have the money right now, I don't think. Well, I might. I don't know. I haven't really checked. Peacock E is definitely the target. So trying to deal with him is a bit more difficult than it should be, actually. have a special thing that when they're in the sea they uh they get a higher defense or is that just effect of master unit no it's the effect of the pilot that's what it is i'm not used to fighting pilots enough yet film is iron nail i know it's just gonna be a quick post but i want to see it anyway Hmm. Well, a little bit more than what I expected, but not by much. I'll say that. Johnny! Johnny Blind Eyes! Got him. All your stuff belong to me. Okay, that's my question. Well, it's all the level. I did not read that right. I read 17. I was like, I'm thinking that is definitely not right. I'm trying to use people help, so... You die. Oh, this is... You're gonna leave it just like that, quick. That's too good. Doing well. I ain't making dirt, dirt clouds when moving when we're in the middle of the sea. Weirdo. Down here, oh, that's right, we have all you guys to fight.
No ship will cover fire, but oh well. I'll save up a lot of money and get a and get a big ship. That's my goal. Really? It's five. Oh, Bernie probably needs to fall back a bit. Our from the, from the ship is old, nice. XP and everything. Hmm. Yeah, at least we'll get, be able to see the Garazulu finally do something. Oh, maybe not. I fucked this in. Yeah, Jagan and Jagan type D, they really much different. Walk back in here. If you have the power to assist, why not use it? Really? That ain't survived again. Final watch the dragon type D. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected. I didn't expect Ryzen to get a reason to get a critical, however, but. The machine itself was within my yeah, it's kind of was within my low expectations of animation. As a person who wants to prove she's better than new types, if I started turning her turning her into a cyber new type, wouldn't that be hilarious? That's for you guys, I don't care about you honestly. No, let's just do whatever. I'm glad those bits aren't dumb enough to attack my, uh... The guys with the white flag, because that would annoy the hell out of me. Here they come. You really like my ship, don't you? Ah, yeah, that's a problem. Now you die. I just like to be sure of everything. <laughs> yeah, miss. Didn't you, Glemmy? Maybe only 69%, but still. I 
got a level, which is nice. I'll take it. Titans? Oh, that is, a, that is a great choice for that line of dialogue. They want to wipe out the Earth by dropping colleagues on them. A revolutionary army from space. Well, Ayug is not like a, is not a Zeon type of thing, and I, I hope Zeon would never go that far as to wipe out the Earth using colonies as a, as a thing. So they have used a bunch of colonies before, so I won't put it past them. But yeah, no! Die eventually. Burn, yeah. I know your name for a certain game, but besides that, I know you die. That's what all I know about you. of the other of uh, the guy who originally used the gold stray, right? So what a stray? You're bringing the M1 stray, okay? The stray series is a very complicated issue. It's mainly a mainly a manga it's mainly a manga series with a very few OVAs involved and a game called Gun a few games revolving around them. The so the only thing that involves any story around the Astray series and the other side things to see was uh, Never Ending Tomorrow of uh, Gundam Seed for uh, TS2. Each, each, of the, each of the side characters had one mission. Mina wasn't one of them, but her brother, but her twin was, so... Yeah, so, well, you know, I guess. I know more about the things that, about characters that get involved in games than I do about things that aren't. So, and but anyway, that is all for now. So, thank you all for watching. I all hope you have a good day, and I hope to see you again. Take care of yourself, and bye bye.